Hey, welcome back to this tropical update on this August 25th, 2023. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. Today we'll be talking about Tropical Storm Franklin, Invest 93L, and some other potential areas that could develop. We'll take a look at the biggest threat to the United States, so we gotta go to... Here we go. And we're going to circle some areas. This is Invest 93L, which is going to meander here for a couple of days. Maybe do a small loop before taking that turn towards the north and then heading in that direction. This is Franklin, the center located somewhere about there. It's going to continue moving south and cut towards the north. Then we have the remnants of Gert, which are still visible. Now, Emily was up to a 70% chance for redeveloping, but when it had its time to redevelop, it lost all of its convection and kind of just fell apart. There it is, 0% chance moving towards the north. And that's 92L located right here. Chances having up and down with this, so. And we have another area right here with the National Hurricane Center highlighted. And when this air invest 90L, whatever it becomes, when it moves to the north, you will see that a trough of low pressure comes down and kind of picks the storm up and like shoots it off to the north northeast, which is why anywhere from it can move in this direction. Or dramatic it can move like this except the farther west it moves the more areas it's gonna affect so let's say it takes the south track it will just move like that out to sea if it takes the panty on the track it'll just skim the whole coast and then if it moves north farther you see farther north it goes and if it hits new orleans it would take that turn to the north Except all these states will be affected. And they probably will issue, even if it doesn't develop, it'll probably become a potential tropical cyclone, so. Yeah. Franklin is doing. kind of been back and forth in organization, so. That was the last slide. Let's go to True Color. See there, convection might be trying to wrap around the center now. I don't know what was going on. I'm pretty sure it was some wind shear. Invis 93L actually looking a little bit better organized than what it was earlier. Because earlier, if I can even draw it out right, let's just say this is the center of the storm. And this is convection. Was it? that good but now the center of the storm is located somewhere whoa how did this happen the center of the storm is located somewhere in here and it's going to continue it will move north looking like it's going to come north and then that whatever center that is might die and a new one might reform over here or this center moves overland, does that loop, and then moves to the north. Now, this storm <clears throat> has been, well, the GFS hasn't really been picking up on it, but we take a look at this night trail. The models have also been back and forth on it. We look at the 12Z run. Yeah, but the earlier ones only had it. If we show the average, the average would probably be boom, 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 boom. Just reaches hurricane status before dropping off. Now, earlier runs, some had it going inside its category two status and then dropping off. And you got to remember, 
this is the Gulf of Mexico we're talking about right now. And the Gulf is extremely hot for this time of the year. Invest 93 l located here. Gonna do that loop over land and over these extremely warm waters. And after that, after that, just moves into the Gulf and then moves anywhere from here to here. So, the keys all now, and this could also, this could, how do I put it? This could tell you how strong it would be depending on where it moves. Because if it moves farther, like if it just turns immediately, it will be weaker because it will move over Florida, but then it will have all this time to strengthen. And let's say it tracks towards New Orleans, it'll have a little bit more time over water, so it could easily strengthen into a category one, two, three. It's reminding me of Ida four. <laughs> Not saying that's gonna happen, but and um, yeah, this was a short little update. Hope you all enjoyed this. I'll see y'all next time.